Okay, so Sandyman, uh, I just installed the Python virtual environment and I was running Python programs in Sublime text in that virtual environment. So I know I will forget this. So how I did this, this is the uh, overview. So first of all, I installed the Python. Uh, it's nothing, just go to the Python website and downloaded it, the latest one for the Windows 64 okay then i uh, i did the custom uh, you know saving i saved that in in some other uh, okay this was the python 310 uh, in e drive i saved that one and uh, so this was the first step i did the installation of python now to make its virtual environment of this python version okay so why i made this one because uh, what happened is when we do a project um, it works for uh, that particular period of time uh, perfectly what i mean to say that uh, that project has those latest packages um, and uh, latest everything but what happened after one month, two month, three month, one year, two year, those packages changes. So that program which runs today might not run um, after two, three months or after a year. So those virtual environment, it, it carries all the packages of that, uh, of that project. It, that was running on it so i hope you are getting this what i'm saying okay so coming to the point uh, this i installed this python number one now uh, then i made the virtual environment on this version so how i did this mm. so i opened up the windows powershell like this okay so i opened up the window powershell uh, how to open the window powershell uh, come to the desktop press the shift and if i click the right click it won't show but i need to press the shift and right click open power shell window here or i can go from uh, from here also okay so that's not the important important thing that i opened the window power shell then just i was checking py so python 3.10 it was here okay so what i did next is um, python version okay this was uh, wrong because when i typed the py i entered to the python uh, i entered to the python interpreter so that's why uh, so i need to exit this one so that's also not the important the important thing is where python i was checking uh, where python it was in e only python version 3.10 okay okay so from here the main thing is started how to make the virtual environment so for that we need to install this pip installed virtual env uh, it took one to two minutes not much uh, late okay then 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 what's the next uh, okay then i saw the pip list and i can see that here virtual environment this pip is installed which is version 20.90 let me show you sentiment um not packages okay leave it mm. if i go to the python and i'll go to the scripts and this virtual environment was not there before so it came here then 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 okay okay then pip list it came here now um, okay now i wanted to make my virtual environment on python 3.10 right so for that i made a folder here uh, i made a folder in the e drive but with the name v var python 310 it means virtual environment python 310 here i will do all the i will do the, all the things with the virtual environment so now what i did here is okay virtual environment zero i created this zero when i type this command virtual e and v zero this zero folder it created here and with that it create the clone of my original python which was in here this was my original python 3.10 and when i type this command virtual environment env0 
it created this here and it cloned that python original python so it has all the script here so it was created now created virtual environment this 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 and uh, okay i okay and then i need to activate this virtual zero environment and what by means is that i could have activated it from here only by double clicking this or i think uh, this i mean something is here to activate but uh, because it, i was doing this here so uh, this command was needed to activate this virtual environment and the command is dot slash zero slash scripts slash activate but it was showing this error it was showing this error so why it was showing this error because i opened the window powershell without being an admin so i opened again as an ad admin this powershell as an admin how to do that i went there and uh, powershell i typed p o w e r shell shell this one uh, this one and run as admin so it will open this one uh, now same again i went to the e and i i typed the zero script activate thing again the same so to change the uh, permission type thing this is the command set execution policy remote sign and uh, y to yes y a to all so i type the yes and it work fine okay so now i type the i print okay and when i type this activate i can see that here zero zero was the name of my virtual environment so it was activated and now i am within my virtual environment and uh, i just tested it with print hello world but uh, world didn't reply me hello that's all right it never replied uh, but um, uh, you know unable to initiate device i don't know why this came <laughs> uh, all right but our um, what virtual environment was created uh, okay and this thing i'll, I'll this thing is that um, just a note um, suppose if i made a uh, project and it has so many packages supported for that project and if after like 10 years or 20 years i wanted to give it to my friend then definitely that uh, project will not run because will not run on his uh, version of the python because that will be a latest one and with the latest uh, advanced packages so what this free pip freeze requirement.txt does it it make a txt file that includes all the packages uh, which was used in that in my this particular project so this is particularly a list of the uh, packages that was used for that particular project so so my friend after 10 two years can see this requirement.txt file and can download those files to run that particular project okay so okay so coming to the point again i made this zero virtual environment but i wanted to run this with the help of my sublime text so this is the another part so i installed the sublime sublime text editor uh, again i installed it in where i installed that in d drive i think mm, okay d program files program files and this is the sublime text i installed it here now uh, when i run this one here um as a print hello world i need to go to the tools and build system and to select the python mm. so it was showing some error but uh, i wanted to run it in the virtual environment so what i what we need to do or what i did was uh, we need to build a new build system from here this was is the new build system then it will open this one all right like this uh, it will it will be like this but we need to copy this code uh, and this is nothing uh, i i got this from where from i got this from here uh, python somewhere okay from this uh, sublime dot uh, build system document whatever so i got it from this and we need to copy this code and paste it here paste it in the sublime build and uh, 
and you can see here it was python is here written and this is the path of my virtual python environment all right and let me show you again my path i went there and uh, uh, okay i it's so confusing um, this was variable p0 and under the script this is my python okay so remember this va a variable virtual environment sorry virtual environment python 3.10 this zero is my virtual environment python and this under the script we have python right click properties and this is the location so i copied this one i copied this one in here and at last uh, the slashes needed to be changed um, slashes needed to be changed and at last python.exe and when we need to save this we need to save this folder in in where in the place where we saved our where we installed our sublime text sublime text and so um, uh, we came to our sublime text where we uh, installed it and in the packages folder we need to save this one and again with the name of what with the name of anything we want to say but in the uh, that extension should be the, not extension but the uh, type should be json and save it but again it was not working in my case so again remember to add dot dot like this um, whatever your name is dot sublime minus build and save it then what will happen is uh, uh, what i was doing was i was running this hello in my virtual environment python okay so for that i went to this program and i went to go to not go to i went to tools i went to tools build system and after we save this one we can see we can see this will come here so selecting this one and selecting this one here and just build and just build and it will run like hello world so this python program was running in my that virtual environment that why i about python virtual environment 3.10 and i did this i did it like this so whenever i will be having some problem i will refer to this again and i hope you can also refer to it thank you and again i will be uploading in the description the command again yes the important thing is if i ever need to install any packages inside my virtual environment so i need to come here like this in yeah, within my environment and then i need to install pip uh, let's say sklearn uh, install sklearn or whatever will it work install it will work so like this we need we can install it okay thank you